Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Force River Salem Hemisphere 273 RL travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes to walk you through the inside and then the outside of this rear living room RV. Alright guys, we're now up inside this new Forest River Hemisphere 273 RL. And as you saw on the floor plan that was just up on the screen there, this is a rear living room travel trailer. We're looking toward the living room section back here. And as you can see, you have a theater seat there, which does have little light up cup holder beams, little lights underneath, reclines back, has a little storage in the middle there. The rear sofa is a trifold sofa, makes out into a bed. A couple adults could sleep on that pretty comfortably. Electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the sofa, overhead cabinets, and also little uh, storage nightstands on each side there. TV area directly across from the recliners, nice feature. Makes it a little easier to watch. You have an electric fireplace down there, which is basically a fancy space heater. Well, Jensen stereo system there has indoor outdoor speakers and a large Jensen flat screen TV on a swing arm. The unit has kind of a barrel rolled roof, so it's got a little bit of an arch to it here, making it a little taller in the center section. This one was ordered with the freestanding dinette instead of a booth. So you have a table and four chairs. The chairs do have a little bit of storage underneath the seat sections of them. Nice big windows, has the pull down roller shades there you can see to kind of black them out. Ducted air conditioning, heat is ducted through the side of the cabinet there back here. The Furion oven with the glass front and the flip up glass lid there. Little pull out pots and pans drawer below that. Traditional microwave and hood range there, but they are Furion, so it is matching appliances there. Plenty of cabinet space in the island section. Has the single little sink there with the little strainer on top. Pull out high-rise faucet also. The unit has a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt ever chill refrigerator in it and this has become really popular in the rv industry you don't have to worry about running out of propane uh, with the popularity of solar panels and stuff like that now you can do a portable solar panel and do a lot of boondock camping Another nice feature on that is it doesn't put extra holes in the side of the camper because it doesn't have to vent out all that heat like a gas one does. And there's an electric outlet and USB charger there on that little section below the microwave. More USB chargers, electric outlet there. The electric box with your breakers and fuses down below. Another heat vent there. Going down the hallway area, you have your air conditioner and furnace control there. And then you have your modern panel, water pump, water heater, 12 volt tank heaters to keep you warmer in the winter time. And some light switches, slide out and awning switches all located right here. Bathroom area is pretty good size. There is some storage. We'll open up the storage first. So you got a little bit of storage here for some towels and washcloths. You have a medicine cabinet here. And then some storage down below. So there is a decent amount of storage for a smaller trailer bathroom area. It's got a pretty large shower. Overhead uh, skylight there. There's also a fan up in there. Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these new videos. Try to update them all the time as the new model change stuff comes out. 
bedroom area here you have a hanging closet on both sides of the bed along with some overhead cabinets now on some of the new models you're going to also find the windshield in the front and that is new for mid-year model change so that's going to be something you'll notice different as you're looking around comparing older versions window on both sides of the bed and the windows do actually open so you can get a cross breeze here big closet over there i'll show you when we get over to that side tv hookup here if you want to do a flat screen tv here wall switch for some bedroom lights room to again walk around the bed area here and there's a little cubby on both sides you can see how they kind of cut that out there's an electric outlet and a usb charger outlet also there you can see on this side kind of what it looks like your overhead uh, hanger bar there so you have a drawer and hanging closet on both sides plus the overhead section spinning back around here you have a larger closet also so you have a big closet bar here there's a light in there so you got quite a bit of room for clothing compared to what it used to have again guys be sure to check out couchesrvnation.com one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country we're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside of the coach, kind of show you around some of the cool features on the outside. All right, guys, we're now on the outside again of the new Hemisphere 273 RL trailer. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside of the RV. One of the new features you're going to see is going to be this front cap design with the windshield. So you have a three-quarter fiberglass cap with a lower diamond plate down here. New LED light strip down both sides of the cap. And then the window. The cap is a little more bubbled out um, the way they kind of designed it compared to the old full-length cap. So that is a little bit different. There is a power tongue jack on the front, standard. Room for one or two batteries to go back here. Two 20 pound propane tanks under the bottle cover there you're also going to see the new safety chain holder thing there it's just a little area to clip them onto. two and five sixteenths hitch ball so no real difference there and then they got a little power cord holder over there now again this customer chose to go with the blue ox sway pro hitch system that you're seeing on there that's not a normal thing there um, weight of the rv is seven thousand 984 pounds the way it sits so this one comes in just under 8,000 pound dry weight has kind of an off-white cream colored side they did do white on some earlier versions but now are with mid-year model change they're going back to the off-white color pretty good size storage compartment has a little slam lock baggage doors you do have a good size compartment here and there is also a battery disconnect up there you can see aluminum tube framing and stuff like that it's double welded up here you're going to find some basic spec information model number production date 1021 of 19 4,400 pound axles, gross vehicle weight, which is axle weight and hitch weight combined, 9,615 pounds. That's the most you can put on the axles and tongue combined. So keep that in mind. Axle weight is not overall weight. There's a six gallon gas electric water heater. Your city water, fresh water, and black tank flush are all right there. And then down below, you can see the gray and black dump handles right there. Outside utility shower, hot and cold water, furnace exhaust out down there. Now, the new mid-year model changes are also pre-set up for slide-out awning toppers. And they do those little brackets up there so that they slip right on. And you do still have to put an awning track on some of the models, depending on where it's at. 
or it will slide into the gutter track depending again on how it was set up per model. So on this one, for example, it has a gutter system that accepts that slide out awning topper. So it slides in from here all the way down and then you put your brackets in. So pretty cool, just pre-setting it up to get it ready for you. Power cord, detachable 50 amp service on this particular model. It is wired for a second air, but that is technically an option. You don't have to do that if your campground only has 30 amp. Power stabilizer jacks on the front and rear. LED taillights and running lights. Traditional four inch square tube bumper. Uh, spare tire mounted on the back. This one has the outside kitchen on it and there is a grill swing arm mount right there that you're seeing that black plate and that is in the storage compartment at the moment but it mounts right on there and swings around a little bit you are pre-wired for the furion observation or backup camera definitely recommend the observation camera so you can use it going down the road uh, ladder on the back feature there deep tent safety glass windows standard on the coach here you can see the little outdoor kitchen area. Uh, door flips up, and you got a sink, refrigerator. That refrigerator is strictly electric. USB charger port there, a little cabinet there, and a little bottle opener. But you have hot and cold water right here. Outside TV area here, you can mount a TV outside. You got cable outlet there, and also electric outlet. Stove exhaust up top there. Pretty good size awning with the LED light strip. I've got it part of the way out there just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. This has the Lippert solid step feature and basically comes down, touches the ground, makes it more stable. Doesn't shake the coach as bad when you're going in and out. And you'll also see this has the extended season package. You got your model number there, a little informational sticker there, RVIA sticker usually found by the door there, and a larger folding entry handle. A little bit nicer, comes down lower. It's really nice for kids or shorter people. Outdoor speakers again. Traditional RV door with a screen door. There's a little pet leash hook right there. The controls for the power jacks are on this side. So you have the front jack you can see right there, the control, and then there was a rear jack back there also. And you have solar prep on the corner there. So you could do a portable solar panel. Again, solar panels are great for boondockers that are doing these 12 volt refrigerators and stuff. That helps a lot. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these mid-year model change videos. And also check out Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Toll-free number 888-417-8299.